Yo, what's going on everyone? Q, Ken Cuba here, CEO of Limitless Attraction ENT. Glad to hear from you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, of course. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, we back. We back, baby. We back. We back with the uh, the final NFL results for week two, baby. Final NFL results. So uh, the, the Sunday games went by. The Browns game just went off probably like a half an hour ago. And um, I got my predictions down. Uh, man, I see how many predictions that I got right and I got wrong, man. Because uh, pretty, pretty solid week as far as football. Not too many blowouts except for one. We had about one scrimmage. And that was... I think that scrimmage was worse than last week, man. That was a crazy scrimmage, but um, let's get right into it. So the first game was the uh, Cardinals and the Baltimore Ravens, and the Arizona Cardinals, Baltimore Ravens. So this one right here, I had the uh, Baltimore Ravens winning, and of course they did, 23 to 17. Baltimore held it down, of course, did what they had to do, uh, and that was about it. However, Larry Fitzgerald, oh, another great week. Um, he bombed it, you know what I'm saying, as a vet. But that is something about that Tyrell Jackson, man. Something about him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next game, Lions versus the Chargers. I had the Chargers winning this one. I had the Chargers. Okay? The Chargers with the healthy Phillip Rivers. Then we had the Lions with the healthy Matt Stafford. And uh, surprisingly, I, I got surprised. You know, my prediction was wrong. I uh, <sighs> The Lions won. 13-10. So, uh, you know, those guys, that was a good bounce back for them. That was a good uh, bounce back for them, being that they had to tie with the Cardinals last week. But they really should have won that game in week one. But that's all right, though. You know, they bounced back. They uh, got it together and fixed what they had to fix, okay? Next game, Colts and the Titans. I had the Titans winning this one right here, okay? Uh, Titans winning the game. Colts scored a touchdown and missed the extra point. So the Titans have a chance to bring it up field and at least kick the field goal. That didn't work out too well. So, 1917 Colts stayed in one. They took the W with Tony Brissett. Andrew Luck hasn't even played yet, okay? He hadn't even played the first week. So, we don't know what's going on, but Andrew, do what's best for you, man. Do what's best for you and your health. Not bad at all, okay? Whoo! Next game, 49ers and the Bengals. I had the Niners, okay? I had the Niners, and uh, they took that game, took that game pretty well. You know, they technically had the league like the whole game. 41-17, 49ers. Uh, what more can I say? What more can I say about that one? I, you know, I was right about that one here. Then we got the Jags and the Texans. I called the Texans to win the game. And they won the game, okay? They won by one point, 13-12. to 12. That game right there was a big one, very close game, divisional game right there. Uh, it's like, what more can you say on that one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, great game for Deshaun Watson. Nick Foles was out again. He didn't play once again. Uh, they had the backup in there. So there's no telling what, this, what the Jags' future is headed for. This is the second time Nick Foles got the starting role. We actually started the season, and he got hurt, like, in the beginning or middle of it. You know, he did it with the Eagles, so... He's still out now, so hey, who knows what's next. Next game, the divisional rivalry game, Minnesota Vikings versus the Green Bay Packers, okay? I had the Packers winning this, and they didn't disappoint me. 21-16, okay? These guys had a great game. I don't know what, you know, what, you know the Vikings, like they just never, for me, in my opinion, they just never had a solid quarterback. I think the Vikings' last good quarterback was Brett Favre, but I think Brett Favre was overrated anyway. I just think he was overrated. Uh, I, you know, they had Brad Johnson, you know what I'm saying? What more can you say with that one? Brad Johnson, Brett Favre, uh, and after that, they kind of went downhill as far as the quarterback. Yeah, I mean, Case Keenum, right? Yeah, they got Case Keenum. Uh, they had Kurt, they got Kurt Cousins, you know, okay, <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? What could we say from there? But, uh, yeah, they won, of course. Next game, another divisional rivalry game, Cowboys versus the Washington Redskins. Mm, I just sip my water up that one. Cowboy versus the Washington Redskins. So this one right here, I I just think the Reds, you know, Cowboys just going to win. You know, I just knew they were just going to win. 31-21, okay? 31-21, Prescott did what he had to do. I don't know what's next, okay? I don't know what you guys want or what's next, but yeah, yeah. You know, that's a, that's the score. That's what it was. I was going to finalize it. Uh, my, lad, my next prediction, Bills versus the Giants. 
I think I had the Giants winning this one. I had the Giants winning this one. And um, 28-14, lost two touchdowns, two touchdowns. Eli Manning, I think, you know, it just seemed like every week, you know, I mean, it's only the second week of the season, okay? Eli Manning didn't have a bad season that season, but he just has to hang it up, you know? He just has to hang it up. You know, I'm I'm really trying to believe in these guys and stuff. Saquon Barkley, I mean, I'm starting to feel like he may be playing for the wrong team. Or they just need to make an adjustment. They need a new quarterback who's going to set the pace and run it up. You know what I'm saying? Do what he has to do. That's one or the other, okay? Uh, but, yeah, the Bills uh, came out on top. So, Bills start the season 2-0. and Start the season 2-0. and <laughs> Not bad, uh, uh, Buffalo. Keep doing what you got to do. Keep up the good, good job. Keep up the good work. So, yeah, we're looking good right there. And then the next game. Now, this one right here was the worst game of week two. This is the worst game. All the other games was close. This one, though, is a divisional rivalry game. The New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. Now, you know what my prediction was. You know who I thought was going to win. 43 to nothing. Let me repeat that. 43 to nothing. Okay. Nothing. What is going on over there in Miami, man? What's going on, Miami? We got to fix that. We got to get that together. Okay. I don't know what's going on, but we got we to gotta get that together. It's not looking good. Okay. Uh, something has to give. Okay. Tony O'Brown. I mean, this... The Pats, they're they're the, the the Spurs of the NFL. You know what I'm saying? They are they're the Lakers of the NFL. They're just a super super team in the NFL. So, uh, what do you say about that? Pats, Dolphins, yeah, Pats, forty three nothing. <laughs> so another dub, another dub for the Pats. Keep up the good work, Pats. That's all I can say. Next game, rivalry game, divisional Chiefs and the Raiders. Chiefs. And the Raiders, okay? Chiefs and the Raiders. I called the Chiefs, and they did the 28-10 Chiefs. 28-10 Chiefs, okay? Pat Mahomes on the center, it's over. Because he's giving out the no looks. He's throwing it accurate. He's doing whatever he can to get the W. So, yeah, Chiefs, Raiders, 28-10 Raiders. No surprise. Next game, Saints and the Rams. Drew Brees gets hurt. I had the Saints winning this. Mmm, but the tables turn. Any given Sunday, baby. L.A. Rams 27 to the Saints 9, okay? Very great game. Great game by the Rams. Great performance by the receivers and everything. Just a great game overall. So, great game for them. Uh, Which more can I say? Bears and the Broncos. Bears and the Broncos. This might have been my favorite game for week two because it was so close at the end. It was so close at the end, okay? Uh... They call a horrible call on the uh, on the Broncos at the end. Broncos scored a touchdown to get in the lead, 14-13 in the fourth. And then Mitch Trubisky throws the ball as the the uh, the tackle. Forgot who it was. Tackles him. Okay, he tackles the uh, he tackles the quarterback as he was throwing the ball, and they call roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. It was fair. It was fair. Yes, yes, it was fair, and then that happens. You know that that kind of was the turning point of the game. Bears continue to march the ball downfield. Boop, they kick it for the win. So that might have been my favorite game, though, out of the whole out of every game for week two. That that game was like close, it was clutchy, night nail biter. I love it. I love them close games where it make your heart pump. And you just feel that adrenaline, and you're not even there. That adrenaline's crazy. Okay. Next game, Eagles and the Falcons. Great game from both teams. I like that game right there. That was a great game right there. However, the Falcons just had the better play calling, better team. You know, they just had a better night. You know what I'm saying? So, um, big ups to the Falcons and the Eagles. 24th, 20 Falcons. I had the Eagles winning that, but they lost. It is what it is. Okay. Next game, Steelers and the Seahawks. This one right here was a defensively sound game, but it was good on both sides of the ball. Offense and defense. Good good, good game overall, okay? Good game for Russell Wilson. Big Ben got hurt, so they had a poke call in the backup, but the backup didn't do too, um, too bad as well. 28-26 Seahawks, they had got the W, and that, which is great, okay? Now we got the last game, which is Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football, baby. So this one right here was the Browns and the Jets. 
I had the Jets winning this right here. Uh, Sam Darnold did not play. And then the backup of Sam Darnold, he gets hurt. So they had to bring in the third string, the Jets. Man, the Browns, they just had a great game overall. Great game overall. Good defense and everything. So 23-3 for the Browns. They won by 20. So they bounced back from last week, which was, which was a horrible game for those guys. So keep up the good work. Whatever worked this time, do it again next week. All right, guys? So that was my week two predictions, of course. So let me see. I got one. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, so I got nine of them right, the other ones was bad, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, guys, thanks for watching, of course, this is Q from Q King Cuba for Limitless ENT signing out, peace, passion, prosperity, and love to you all, God bless. Hey everyone, just want to thank you all for watching, tuning in. Again, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Of course, I'm going to keep giving you video after video. We're going to go to nothing but to the top, guys. Thank you for all the love and support you've been giving me. I appreciate you. Appreciate you to the day I'm in the grave. God bless. Peace, passion, prosperity, and love.